antioxidants are guardians to our health, are guardians for prevention for all of the things that we are getting sick today, like cardiovascular disease, like brain problems. So everyone's looking for antioxidants. They go to Amazon and they go and buy antioxidants and they think that's the only thing that we should do. Or doc, I'm already taking my glass of wine every single night because I'm taking care of myself and I'm drinking all the antioxidants that I need. So the thing is, we really need antioxidants and they are very important. But the thing is, we tend to forget that it's not about buying a lot of antioxidants. It's something about that we need to remember why antioxidants are so important, but also we need to remember which is the best way that we can mitigate the effect of that that we are combating by taking in antioxidants, but also which is the best way that I can start taking antioxidants in my diet. And we need to remember that we are exposed all the time to antioxidants from things we are exposed in the exterior, but also in the interior. We need to remember that antioxidants, what they do is they counterbalance all the effects from free radical or for free oxygen or nitrogen species. What's the thing? Let's remember in our cells, we have a part inside that it's called the mitochondria. The mitochondria takes oxygen and takes glucose in order to make energy. It's like when you have the engine of a car. The engine of a car takes oxygen and takes fuel to convert it into energy. And then it has a smog. The smog that it produces, it's those are the free radicals. What's the problem? Every time that there's a free radical, an antioxidant comes and pairs, and now it's not free, it's paired. And that's what we should be looking for. Again, remember, there aren't many antioxidants going on but also we need to have balance so we don't have a lot of free radicals going on because both things could be detrimental. Both things could be a problem. What do we need to do? Is that when you're in a party, in a party where there are couples dancing, only couples, and you have a bunch of people maybe, and those people start being in the middle of the way, they start criticizing, they start gossiping, they start being a problem. What do you want to do? You want to bring a couple. So they stop bothering everyone else. It's the same thing. When we know this, when we bring antioxidants to pair with free radicals, antioxidants play a crucial role in disease, in prevention, in the treatment, and maintaining a healthy body. What I want you to know is which is the important, knowing that antioxidants are guardians to our health, are guardians for prevention for all of the things that we are getting sick today, like cardiovascular disease, like brain problems, like dementia, like cancers. And we need to remember how they can protect our body. We need to remember that there's a lot of data. There's a ton of data showing all the effects of how antioxidants really protect my body, really protect our DNA. They play a crucial role for everything related with cell damage, with protein damage, with DNA damage, with different parts of the cell on how they work. I just told you that there is a way and that it's normal every single day that we are producing free radicals. Even there are free radicals that we want in our body. Nitric oxide, which is very important for the maintenance of blood pressure and for the arteries, it's a free radical. So not all free radicals are bad and not the excess of antioxidants, it's necessarily good. But you can go and see a list of which are uh, very high antioxidant rich foods. You don't need me for that. What is that thing that you're gonna get from this video? You're gonna know that list. You're gonna know which are the ones and which are the specific antioxidants that you're going to find in those foods. So what are the kinds of antioxidants that we find? Where are they? They're everywhere in, in our diet. They're in our fats, they're in the proteins, there are sometimes there are minerals, sometimes there are vitamins, sometimes there are phytonutrients. So we're gonna find vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin K, carotins, lycopene, gluten, selenium, manganese, magnesium, it's a great antioxidant, bromelain, quercetin, berberine, they're absolutely fantastic. You are going to find them all in the things that you eat. Sometimes they're in foods, sometimes they can be in condiments, sometimes they're going to be in different things. What are the foods that are very, very nutritious and rich in antioxidants? To me, the, my favorite one and my favorite fruit 
is what we find in berries. Berries like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries that are very rich in anthocyanins and vitamin C. Things like dark chocolate, it's very rich in flavonoids. Artichokes are very rich in quercetin, in rutin, in anthocyanins too. Nuts and seeds, for example, walnuts and almonds, very rich in antioxidants such as vitamin E and flavonoids. Leafy greens, I love leafy greens because of all of the fiber, but also kale, spinach are also very rich in antioxidants such as vitamin C, beta carotene and lutein. Also very rich in carotenes is of course, and we know that it's carrots. Other things, olive oil, avocado oil, coffee, green tea, turmeric, ginger, tomato, broccoli is also very rich in antioxidants. Again, you don't need me for this list. You have Google for that. How are you going to get some tools to make them better for you? And which are those mistakes in which you can not enhancing and ride antioxidant absorption? So first, try to consume these foods with healthy fats. Healthy fats enhance the absorption of some Antioxidants, like for example, you want to get lycopene from tomatoes or from peppers? Well, olive oil has shown to have a synergy in which you are going to incorporate better the lycopene than you find in tomatoes. Also remember proper chewing. Proper chewing is going to make all the enzymes to be breaking the foods properly so you can incorporate it better. When you combine, for example, with fermented foods or when you take probiotics, Probiotics, we think that probiotics are just bacteria for digestion, and that's it. But we need to remember that digestion, it also has a part in absorption. And we have thousands and thousands of healthy bacteria. And that bacteria, those microorganisms, they have like this digestive enzyme property. One of the properties for it as a digestive enzyme is that they make better the absorption of some antioxidants. There is something else. When you steam vegetables, make more available the antioxidants and you don't damage them because some of them are very, very sensitive to heat. Overcooking foods might lower the amount of antioxidants present in foods. And there are some other things like, for example, a pepper. Pepper has a compound that's called pepperine. Pepperine makes the absorption of curcumin, which is the key compound inside of turmeric, better. But also, healthy fats are going to be beneficial for the absorption and also for the protection of turmeric. So you may be saying, why because of the protection? Because I just told you one of the mistakes. Not chewing, a mistake also could be overcooking, but also a mistake, for example, for turmeric, and it's very, very common, is that people think that when you mix turmeric with an acid, such as lemon, such as ginger, such as oranges, it's gonna be better because turmeric has this benefit because of curcumin and lemon has this benefit and ginger has this benefit. But they forget that you, when you put them together, you're making an interaction. And that interaction between these two is that the assimilation, the absorption, of curcumin, which is the Q compound inside of turmeric, needs more alkaline pH. When you put on an acid or when you expose it to the natural acid of the stomach, it could be degraded. In which way are you gonna make it better? You're gonna blend it or you're gonna put it in a fat so that fat protects a bit or even there are preparations in capsules when they micro encapsulate or n even nano encapsulate the particles of turmeric to make that absorption um, better and it's free of the effects of the gastric acid. So these are probably the most common mistakes that people do. How do we mitigate oxidative stress on, a, on the everyday life? We need to remember that again, it's a natural process, but I can put more free radicals in my life by getting bad habits, by getting a, a very bad diet, by stressing, by not sleeping, by getting a lot of this white light. And again, do I need to go crazy buying a lot of antioxidants? No, because the excess of antioxidants is going to bring more oxidation. And this is a process that we forget and people forget. So again, what we need to have, it's the right balance. And the right balance comes on its own when you have a good lifestyle, there's rich antioxidant foods in our diet. Again, the best way that we can do this is by sharing the videos, 
by bringing all this knowledge all together for all of us and when you share it with the people that you know. And also remember that when we build a community is the best thing that we can do. We can build a blue zone everywhere in the world. And how do we do that? By subscribing to the channel. We're making a better community. And also when you click the bell, you're going to be the first one to be notified, but also the next videos and also more related videos from other creators are going to be shown by the platform. And in that way you can keep on regaining more knowledge and more tools to be the owner of your health. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.